Carol never wore her safety goggles. Now, she doesn't need them. Hello, 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 my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my first video. Feedback is especially appreciated as I am testing my new microphone and its episode format in general. The topic for this episode is a brief story about lab safety, or as I like to call it, that time I accidentally inhaled sulfuric acid. Several years ago, while I was still a high school sophomore taking chemistry, we had a lab project involving 6 molar sulfuric acid. Now outside of iron being involved, the rest of the details of the lab escaped me. My partner and I were monitoring our solution comprised mostly of sulfuric acid, as it was bubbling away on our hot plate. I was seated closer to the windows, and he was to my right on the other side of the hot plate. Having some spare time until the solution was finished boiling, I was starting my section of the lab right up. Having a few groups using hot plates at the same time, the air was becoming rather unpleasant to breathe rather quickly. It was at this point that our instructor warned us she had decided to turn on the lab safety fans. Now these safety fans from what I could see appeared to be two small box fans haphazardly mounted to the windows. Based upon my previous two years, I assumed these would be as useless as every other piece of equipment in the school which was torn down the year after I graduated, or so I thought. You see, it turns out these were industrial grade fans that they had bought some years back, and as soon as they were powered on, the pleasant cloud of evaporated sulfuric acid that was rising up towards the ceiling was now traveling at a perfect 45 degree angle straight in my face as it was taking a breath. Q five minutes of gagging, another 10 of constant coughing, two weeks of nosebleeds, one month of completely raw sinuses, and two months before my respiratory system found as if it had returned to normal. I should say I took lab instructions quite a bit more seriously throughout the rest of my time in high school and college. Thank you for watching, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Normally I plan to address science-related news topics, but figured it would be nice to start off with a non-research intense topic first. Please leave any feedback you may have. Ratings or comments are appreciated, as well as subscriptions, as I'd like to grow this YouTube page out a bit. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.